Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tom. I'm doing a video blog for class on Tuesday, September 16th. Um, today in class, we uh, each did a presentation on an aspect of Irish culture that we found interesting. Uh, I started off the conversation um, with presenting on uh, Celtic warriors, uh, how they were a barbaric and um, militaristic culture uh, back in like 400 BC. Uh, they would go into battle wearing little to no armor, and they would use your, their sheer strength um, and size um, to help them uh, win in battle. Um, Matt then talked to us about the Celtic Cross. Um, it originated in around like 5000 BC. Um, <clears throat> it's very important in the Irish culture. Um, its symbolism is very important. Uh, it has a ring in the middle of the cross that has many different um, interpretations. Uh, one being uh, eternal life. That's like more like the Catholic um, version. Um, then uh, later on, Ron talked to us about um, Celtic music. <clears throat> we got to hear a little example of uh, the Irish music that he played for us on YouTube. Um, we heard like the repetition like he kept talking about uh, in the song, and we also heard like a variation of different instruments like a fiddle, uh, bagpipes, or uh, the flute, um, which was very typical of Irish uh, music. Um, then later on, Brittany talked to us about the clottering. Um, I found this pretty interesting. Um, like the the way you wear the ring uh, dictates your relationship status, which I, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, then Vincent talked to us about hurling. Uh, it's a sport um, very similar to rugby. It's played on a rugby field. Um, it originated like 3,000 years ago. Um, he said it's a really intense sport. Uh, he watched a bunch of YouTube videos on it. And I uh, said it was it was a pretty um, intense sport. Uh, it's very prominent today in Irish culture. Um, next or finally, Joe talked to us about um, Celtic druids. <clears throat> um, these were like the people who kind of like ran um, the Irish like day to day uh, living. They were doctors, teachers, priests. I mean, like they were pretty much everything. Like you name it, they were they took on that role. Um, young men who were looking for guidance in their lives would go see them, um, and they would help them out, like, to, you know, find their way. Um, and something pretty interesting that Joe said was that they might have been included in the creation of Stonehenge. Uh, I, I found that pretty interesting. Um, so that pretty much wraps up the video blog on, uh, for class on Tuesday, September 16th. Uh, thank you for watching.